Hello. We are live, live. The focus right now on a Union Street home where her father used to live. We will be live, live with them in just a second. We are going to be live, live. Hello, guys. I skipped my intro. I'm actually going to go backwards, so I can edit this later. Epic fail. Here we go, guys. Here's your latest. That prompted this large scale multi agency investigation that's been underway right now for nine hours and is showing no signs of slowing down and take Take a look behind me here. Just in the past 30 minutes, this Department of Public Works truck showed up. They dropped a camera down into that sewer. You know, uh, and inside FBI sewer. agents are trying to see what they could see down in that sewer pipe. News 9 investigates learned that Manchester police quietly took control of this part of Union Street last night. Some neighbors who live in the apartment building were displaced. At 7 o'clock this morning, the teams of experts and investigators began to stream in from Maine, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire, including the FBI, the U.S. Marshals, the Attorney General's Office, Manchester Police, and the County Sheriff's Office. The focus today has been on a second floor apartment where Adam lived with Kayla in 2021. Investigators have remained mum all day, but an old refrigerator was hauled out, wrapped in plastic before being loaded onto a truck, along with other items wrapped in brown paper. The large operation drew onlookers all day and lots of theories. Some people just drove by and shouted their thanks to police. It's awful. It's just horrible. It's sad. It's just, especially when you know them, you know, and you know her. It's just awful. It's she knew you her. Want, you know, you want to see something positive come out of this, but it's just tragic. It's awful. Back live now at a very busy scene here on Union and Orange Streets. You can see pink balloons there that have uh, just arrived along with some stuffed animals at the base of that stop sign. Coming up at 5 o'clock, word of this investigation traveled very quickly. In fact, the uncle of Adam Montgomery, Kevin Montgomery, called News 9 this morning looking to confirm some facts with me about what was going on. Coming up at 5 o'clock, you'll hear what his wish is for the outcome. Now let's get over to my colleague Tim Callery. He's taking a closer look at the momentum that this case has seemed to gather in recent okay. days. Hang on. Well, Amy, today's developments is just Okay, I'm gonna mute him for a minute. We know what's going on, but I don't see any press conference. We just got an update. This is what we just covered in the last live stream. Hey Scott H and Kim Maple. Cat Angel, Happy Girl, Audra D, before you went off the screen, Shell and Heather the Invisibrat. You know Dawn's full of shit. So we are waiting for a press conference. Yes, we were told that there was going to be one at 4 p.m. We were told that there was going to be a press conference at 4 p.m. We are not sure where that refrigerator was stored, but we do have video going of um, the search that was going on today. There's some overhead views and things like that. Searchers. I don't know how old this footage is that they're rolling through, but there are some pictures. Heather J sent me. Thank you, Heather. And while we took a little break, I ordered some fried chicken from Publix. Okay, let's take a look at these. So they should be arriving shortly. Hopefully they do this press conference. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But we saw earlier. Um, let me shrink this dude. 
Let me make him a little smaller, Roberters. Hey, Allie True Crime Girl. Yeah, word has it that there were remains found, um, but we are we haven't gotten confirmation on that just yet. But they took the... They took the uh, refrigerator out of the apartment and then they brought in a new refrigerator to replace that. Publix is a grocery store and they have the best fried chicken and the best potato salad and the best key lime pie. So usually I get like this, get key lime pie. Zav is playing it? What the hell? Well... Isn't Zav on the ball today? Let me go to YouTube. Here I was trying to be good and go to the local station there. And, uh... They switched to basketball. I'm just not seeing anything live on... Sorry, I'm not seeing it. I don't see it. Where is it? <laughs> WCVB. WCVB. I was just on their local station, dude. And a Boston. Out of there. Have fun, Treval. Just be back here holding your purse. <laughs> Thank you. I have I'm my on. little travel bag, so I had it stuffed with there. everything I thought I would need today. So I had flip flops, tennis shoes. I'm confused. These boots that I have on today. <laughs> I had another pair of jeans, pair of shorts, t-shirt, fan. I also had sunglasses. W C V B. That's what I'm on. You know, thingy that you put on your arm. Bug spray, bug lotion. I had lip gloss. Uh, W, what? WCVB. That's where it just was. I don't know what in the hell you're talking about, you guys. There's nothing live. Who did a press conference? There's no... <laughs> Yeah, Zav isn't playing it. There's, yeah, there's no press conference going on right now, guys. I have everything pulled up. If there was, you would see one. They're not doing one right now. They were supposed to. Well... You must have watched an old one because they don't they didn't do a press conference today yet. Not yet. Maybe they pushed it back. Yeah, they're on Eastern time. Oh my god, you guys crack me up. Zav isn't even live. Zav <laughs> it's been postponed. She aired an old one. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's postponed. Okay, so they must be waiting until they are done there. Here are some photos, like I was saying. Let's not get all crazy, yo. <gasps> look at the, look at the girl up on the roof taking pictures, look. Oh, my God. Are we going to have to, like, stop this and come back for the press conference? Oh, Publix is really good. We're planting flowers on the side of the house. Look at the girl on the look at the girl on the roof. I don't think she I don't think she has pants on. Hold on. Alexa says that would be my nosy ass. 
She's definitely getting some footage. She's definitely getting some footage. Sharon Tuck, thank you so much. She says, Harmony, lots of love to Harmony. Jima, everything is money. Everything's expensive, isn't it? Publix, Pubix. We're planting flowers on the side of the house. Mm. Public subs are amazing. You guys, welcome to JS for Justice. If you're just joining, we have 816 viewers in chat. And I don't know how many likes, but I know you guys haven't all liked it. So if you could... Give this video a like. We are waiting. We were going to tune into a press conference, but it's not happening. They have put it off because they are searching the sewer with cameras and they removed a refrigerator from the house. And that is what we know as of yet, as of late. That is the latest. And these are photos from the scene today. The search for a little harmony. And I did hear um, through the grapevine from a local source that is unconfirmed yet that there were remains found in the apartment where Adam Montgomery stayed for a short time after the little girl was last seen. Thank you, Ann Poli, and thank you for subscribing, Renee Gonzalez. Zanaida Gonzalez, Zanny the Nanny. Oh, man. Drywall removed from what I heard, says True Crime with Shannon. Amber Nix wants to know, has this not been searched before? Scott Skulls, what sound does a donkey with a pencil make? This sound. Creep town, dude. Evil, evil. Lizzie Bones says, that's Manchester summed up in one pick. Lizzie Bones took advantage of her little membership, like reminder, reminder thing. And you can do that. When you're a member, you can highlight your chat and um, showcase how long you've been a member. Lizzie Bones is a proud J is for Justice member for eight months. Lizzie Bones. Don't break the door, you fucking bitch. Yes. Right? Who's on the roof? That's That's me, yo. No, I'm just kidding. These are people that live right behind uh, the apartment where uh, Harmony Montgomery lived with her father when he had custody. Thanks for the heads up about chicken and potato salad. I have found some good sales at Publix. You, Yeah, you can find some good sales, but it's typically not the shit you'd buy. Sometimes it is, but most of the time it's shit you wouldn't normally buy. They throw on buy one, get one free, where you're really like, I don't really need two of those, but now I'm forced to get two. Hey, Philo Doe, Alexis, Philo Doe. The Ridge, yeah. I mean, of course, this is all hearsay at the moment. This is all, um, we're waiting. We're waiting for authorities to give us the official update on this search. <laughs> Way to go, Lizzie Bones. I know, Lizzie Bones. I always have to make an example of Lizzie because I know she can handle it. I know she can handle it. All right, let's refresh WCVB. WCVB is where I'm getting all of my information from. But while I was looking for this, I really do think 
Them ain't shorts, man. Them are boy shorts undies. Just saying. There is a little boy who is also missing. Ah, oh, shit. Stupid. Okay, here we go. This is a three-year-old missing in the same area, you guys. They're searching for a missing three-year-old in Lowell, Massachusetts. There's a greenhouse. It looks like it's on a farm. Oh, WMUR. Oh, this is Massachusetts. <gasps> oh, no. They're in the water, you guys. Elvis. <laughs> Panties with pockets. Welcome back, potato. Welcome back, potato. I hope those big beefy pigeons were were nice to you today. Yeah, they're loud and beefy. Yeah, they're loud and beefy. Um, let's see. Well, regardless, I'm gonna talk about this. This boy's name is Harry. Was missing from his babysitter's backyard in the Pawtucketville neighborhood. The boy was dropped off at the babysitter's home just after 7.15. We suspect nothing more than a missing or lost child. The child just walked away. So they've expanded the search. They haven't found him. He's active. He likes going outside. When he's at home, he goes in the yard and plays. He's a healthy kid, but he can't speak. He's trying to learn how to speak, but he can't talk, the boy's father said. Harry was last seen wearing a long sleeve maroon shirt. And gray pants with a white stripe. And this is where he's missing from. Just walked away. Just walked away. How do kids just walk away? This shit makes me mad. You know what? Okay, what is it, Heather? I agree, good grandma. That water is really close, too. What is the station? I was on the wrong one. What is it? W. I know it's not WJAY. <laughs> hey, Susu Sperry Shoes. Harry. I'm waiting for the call numbers. <laughs> the call letters. W-M-U-R. Okay. I can't keep these call letters straight. Nothing new from Enton's end of things. Uh, W what? Hi, Margaret Allen in Scotland. I need some bagpipe. Uh, need some bagpipe. Whatever, sound bites. W C V B. Ah, I just got zard. Z South Africa just zard me. Bzzz, Zard, thank you so much, Allie True Crime. Is, uh, you have to stand down. And pulley. Yes, Instacart. Instacart is bringing, is bringing it here. <laughs> Lizzie, she's like, WMUR, WCVB, WDHD. Okay, let's try WMUR first. W, Muir. See, I have to do it like that because I'm slow. WMUR9. Nine. 
nothing nothing new on that front. WCVB. Like none of these call letters like make any sense. Like WFLA at least is like W Florida. Right? WFLA. But like WCVB, like there's no rhyme or reason to it. And I just, this is the same site. WD, WHDH, <laughs> WHDH. It was really traumatizing. Shots fired near Charleston High graduation. Yeah, this is the last thing is six hours ago. Uh, well, I hate to say this, you guys, but um, I'm not going to stream Jay Brewer, but thank you for letting me know that. You guys can watch Jay Brewer. WD40, one juror matter says, that's what I say. I think that's the channel I need to tune into. Channel WD40. So we have um, no press conference as originally we were told we were going to. We thought we were going to have a press conference at 4 Eastern. Um, but we've got the honeys on the roof. Maybe they'll keep us updated. Becky Boo, there has not been a press conference yet. You have not missed the thing. And I was under the same impression as Zav. Yeah, it's the story of my life, Bama Cat. I always have to change something. Are you sure it's five? For the love. There's there's no updates. Watch the last live stream. That's the latest and greatest. They brought out a fridge, brought in a new one, and they have cameras in the sewer. And that's pretty much all we know. They've been there all day, though, you guys. They totally found something. Are we sure it's coming back at five? Yes, she does, Mark Klein. Zav is awesome. Zav is a sweetheart. Out of all the creators, she, when this happened to me, she reached out. She's a sweetheart. Roof lives matter. Get down, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Where's that at? Are you kidding me? Come on, girl. There's one going on now. Oh. There's no press conference going on right now. Stop spreading false narratives and news. There is no press conference happening at this moment in time. You are getting the current information. Are you kidding me? Where are you seeing it's live? I think you guys are fucking with me. I think that's what people do. They come in, it's live, it's live, you're missing it, you're missing it. You guys want to go back to the roof? Tear down the roof. When you guys in the roof is on fire. <laughs> well, they probably had to walk over because of where they could see. Rose1033 says I stopped watching true crime because of the false BS. Thank you, uh, legal and leaf. Rose, 1033. 
Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, there has been a lot of false shit put out there. So I know a lot of people come in here and go, ah, and they're missing it. And they want me to get all like flustered. Like I'm going to go, oh, oh my God. Holy shit. Oh, don't leave you guys. Don't leave. I, I, I'll find it. Like, no. I don't know who comes up with these ideas to do that in people's chat rooms, but. Fuck directly off. <laughs> And if you didn't hear that loud and clear, here it is again. Fuck directly off. <laughs> oh, either bitches. Neither one. <laughs> either bitches. I'm glad you're here, Rose, and I'm glad that you trust me to not bring you fake shit. God almighty. Well, if it's going to be in a half an hour, you guys, I think that maybe we should reconvene. I hate to say that, but my Publix chicken is going to be here. And I'm, maybe I can eat before I come back and then we can chit chat for a while. Thank you for subscribing. Court K and Allison. And that was um, summoning Scott H. But I don't see him here anymore. But man, he was on a fucking roll that day. This one is this one is the best right here. I love it. Oh, either bitches, neither one. <laughs> neither one. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Too legit, too legit to quit. Hey, hey. Well, I don't know if it's here. I don't even know. Let me check and see what time it's supposed to be here. Okay, so the mother is speaking to the news at five and there is no scheduled time for the press conference. One juror matters. Jay, I think Instacart delivered. <laughs> wait. Wait, what? Delivered your breaststroke and thighs got delivered to that roof. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> Get the hint. You send me your phone number. Say you want to talk. I don't call you. Why? Because I don't fucking want to talk to you. Because I think you're a loser, dude. <laughs> oh, man. The sound bites just never disappoint. You know it? Maybe you should eat some chicken. Onesie. Onesie is a Roberta for life, she says. I love you, onesies. And um, do you do you wear the little white Gerber onesies? Or do you prefer the ones with prints? <laughs> she said, I've really been here since Gabby. Roberta for life. Thank you so much, onesie. Send that. I think it's hilarious. This is off the patch. Patch.com. Uh, this is where they have a bunch of photos, you guys. I just happened to stop on that and I'm like, wait, who's on the roof? Let's break the roof. Investigators. Okay, Lizzie Bones has an announcement for us. I like onesie. <laughs> I always come up with my own names for everybody. Um, New Hampshire Attorney General announced, this is straight off the press from Miss Lizzie Bones, investigators to remain on scene throughout the evening, thanking the residents and the community for their patience. Hashtag Harmony Montgomery. Thank you for that, Lizzie Bones. I think that, I think that sums it up. I think that sums it up. As to where we stand, let's let investigators do their job. Um, 
in finding this little girl so that we can we can stand by and we can watch justice become a reality for Harmony Montgomery. Nicole B. Oh my God, she's an official Roberta. Roberta. Shut the front door. JB, it's, uh, we have to stand down. Welcome, Nicole B. Thanks for joining. I just think that it's important that we know what's going on, but also to let investigators do their jobs and then bring us the facts. We definitely want the facts. So um, they do that, Nicole B. Or they just, you know, it expires after so long. But thank you to everybody who has joined. You guys are truly amazing. It's amazing to see this chat fill up with more and more greenies. And, you know, we celebrate your birthday every year on 420, you greenies. Also known as the Roberters. Um, Dan with the phone, not sure. I don't know anything about him anymore. I haven't heard from him in a very long time. Oh, I'm not making fun of anybody's body shape. No body shame in here, dude. Because I definitely, I'm not perfect in the body department. So you won't see me body shaming anyone. I honestly think it's hilarious that they're up on the roof and that the patch caught it. I love you, April Dawn. I love you, April Dawn. Puff, puff, pass. Kim Maple Syrup. These nuts. Northern Beans. I think there should be an awards show on YouTube for YouTube creators. I bet we'd see a lot more the Fresh Prince all over rocks. What's that mean? Hmm. Oh, you mean the Chris? I you know I never watched that video. Kristen Cure, hi, Kristen Cure. Thank you so much. Kristen Cure has been around. Damn girl, you've been around since the beginning of time. Do you like to twirl? Member for nine months is Jilly Bear. Enjoying your coverage. Happy to be a member here. And I am happy to have you here. I know you guys, you guys are all just like amazing. You guys are all like family members. Yeah, they're nosy, just like us. That's why we're sitting here watching them on the roof. I have no, I have no, I have nothing bad to say about anybody. That's for sure. I've got no room to talk about anything or anybody and thank you for subscribing vernon turner vernon verners meanie banana <laughs> tomorrow tomorrow is one year that summer has been missing and um scotty skulls is going to come up and we're going to talk about that Peace, not silence. I'm new here. Just subbed. I have my own channel about controversial topics, hotlines, statistics, and resources. Peace. So I like yes. to go around and support other channels. Great energies here. Peace, not silence. I would love to check out your channel. And thank you for um, piping up in chat. It's always good. I always want to find other channels that are that are doing good things that are not, you know, surviving just to bash other people so i will definitely check out your channel if you guys want to check out peace not silence thank you for stopping in angie b the roberta turd thank you so much for your super sticker it's just q i would one million what does it say i lost it i lost it ah <gasps> kristen cure became a member holy it's just Q says I would one one million percent be on the roof too. <laughs> That's why I love you, Roberters. I think those are two like potential Roberters. We need them on the show. You get what I'm saying? They're there. They're seeing it go down. They're getting all the tea. They're watching it play by play. They're the ones that I want to talk to. These are the girls. 
You know what I was talking about, you guys? The other day, we were talking about like boots on the ground and like getting people who are, you know, in certain areas where things are happening and stuff like that and getting them out. These are the Roberters that I'm talking about. These are the Roberters. No shame in their game. They give zero fucks. They're right up my alley. I love you, just Q. I try to pay attention to everybody's comments. Hi, Lips. Ruby Truly. No, seriously, these are the these are the Roberters we need. Yes, they're potential Roberters. If you live in this area and you can recruit these Roberters, we would love to have them. <laughs> Boots on the roof. <laughs> oh, Kristen Kerr, that means so much to me. I think that's so cool because I remember like, I remember the first channel I watched. I remember when I came over and I was like, wow, YouTube has live streams. This is fucking crazy. It, it like always means something to me, like the first live streams I watched. And I'll remember the first people that I came into contact with. And Kristen, you're one of my first Roberters. And I didn't even know you you were a Roberter before you, before you were a Roberter. <laughs> Roberta. Roberter. <laughs> Stepmom's recent arraignment for lying to grand jury is on the Boston Globe. A Philly Roberter, a Philly cheesesteak Roberter. A Philly cheesesteak Roberter. I love it. I need these two Roberters on my team, though. Okay, let's go to the Boston Globe. And then I've got to see when my... Um, when my fried chicken... My Roberto chicken is going to be here. Where is it at on here? I don't see nothing. I see nothing. I've been selected to read this for free. Look at those. Look at those fly tops. Hey, you know what I saw? I meant to text. I got to text my daughter. Oh, Joshua will be. It's out for delivery. <laughs> um, Guess what's coming back? True religion genes. Um, this just in. Uh, what's, it, what's it called? Urban Outfitters has released uh, true religion genes. They're bringing back the stitching, the flat pockets, the whole nine. The only thing that I'm happy about is flare jeans. I fucking love them. But I never wear jeans here. It's too damn hot. But I love the flare. I never got into the skinny jeans. But I'm digging it. <laughs> yeah, there ain't nothing going on. Yo, this there is a lot going on, but behind the scenes. And we're going to let investigators finish their, um, their um, search for whatever they're searching for in that apartment, but we do think that it is most likely harmony, unfortunately. We have, n we have nothing else to go on, you guys. Yeah, I love flare jeans too. Yeah, they're coming back. So you know whatever Urban Outfitters brings something out, it's going to be hot, right? It's going to be hot. Yeah, I don't like skinny jeans. And then when they got like super skinnies. Yikes. Brooke, very interesting. Okay, so Brooke says refrigerators from crime scene investigators is brought in if and when you collect a section of liver bone or deep muscle tissue found would need to freeze until examination. But they removed the entire fridge. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Lavender says, I hate skinny jeans. It's like nylons or leggings. I find leggings to be the most uncomfortable fucking things on the planet. I hate leggings. There are so, I mean, they make my legs itch. Like they feel like, and I've tried all kinds of different fucking leggings. So don't say, I'll oh, get Lululemon and all this, spend $100 on a pair of leggings. Doesn't fucking matter. It's still something clung to your skin and it's the most uncomfortable shit. I hate leggings. <laughs> Ashley Oak says, Jay, you were so sassy my first stream I watched. You were saying, what are you talking about? <laughs> I love, Elizabeth, that you kept your jeans. I wish I would have kept all my jeans. I totally <laughs> wish I would have kept all my jeans. <laughs> See, look, everybody says that their legs stretch or legs itch from leggings. Yet we bought them like a motherfucker. <laughs> Just... Yeah, it's like, how does anyone sleep in leggings? <laughs> you guys, you guys, your your comments crack me up. Vince. Yeah, leggings look adorable on toddlers. <laughs> Meanie banana, don't be sad. Listen, we're gonna we we get lighthearted. We we cut up. Um, but we still. Jeez, uh, you have to stand down. We still are, you know, following and and wanting justice for harmony. So don't take our humor. As anything other than just being real. Dude, onesie, don't tell me to get the... Oh, get Lululemon. Get, get you know, fuzzy ones. I've tried them all. It's just uncomfortable. I wear shorts day in and day out. Like, I... I have, like, a couple pairs of joggers that I wear in the winter here. But other than that... Shorts. Every day. Night Stalker prefers no pants, but people make a big deal. Hey, just be yourself. Yeah, my chicken was just dropped off. <laughs> I think you have to have really, really super... I mean, I'm not even talking about how leggings look. I don't think they look good on me. Yeah, she's going to be on the news, but I'm not streaming that. <laughs> Scott H. Scott H says he's learning a lot in chat. Very informative. <laughs> Lulu fried an egg on. Did you film it? <laughs> Short pants. I'm just not a fan. You know what? I got. I have. A, I have a. I have a confession. I got a pair of joggers from Walmart. They are, um, what's those? Kylie and Kendall. Kendall and Kylie brand. And they're the cutest pants. No real justice. There's not going to be a presser yet. It's been put off. Let me change my title. Um, but anyways, I got the cutest joggers and I got two pairs because, or no, I got three. They had like the khaki, like the khaki brown, like the tan ones. And then they had um, like blush pink and then they had black and I got all three pairs. So that's that's what I wore this past winter. And they are they're like ribbed. They're super cute and they're not skin tight. You know, and make you itch. You know, Dawn's full of shit. Leggings stop hair growth, do they? The FBI bought the refrigerator and delivered it supposedly to gather forensic. I don't know. It seems like they took an old refrigerator out and then brought a new one in. Lips. I bought Ron John shorts for like $35. Now Walmart has the exact same ones for $11. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's way too hot for clothes today. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. I wish they stopped hair growth. Dude, Walmart's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, they do. They have a clothing line there. And they were on, and the best part onesie is they were on clearance. So I got them for like $11 a pair. They're awesome. Yeah, I got to go get my food. Thanks for reminding me, Bonnie Bailey. <laughs> Tin foil brat. <laughs> Okay, so Scott Skulls and I will be live tomorrow for sure if I don't see you again tonight. Lavender, they should. Um, I will. I'll look for the link. I'll put it in the description of the video after we get off here. And just so you know, if you order them, they were out of stock here. Was the last time I looked, I was going to get my daughter a pair, but you might be able to order them where you're at. But... um. Anyways, they run big, believe it or not. I thought Kylie and Kendall, this shit's going to fit like a toddler. And it didn't. They were they were actually big. Kenny Knackers, I have no idea. Hey, Annie. Fuck directly off. <laughs> Take your press conference and shove it. All right, you guys. Definitely will be live tomorrow um, to... Remember Summer Wells and raise awareness of her one year missing. And then also, um, we've got to finish Casey Anthony and we've got to get on that, damn it. And Scott Skulls, I will give you a, a jingle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Walmart also has Gap Home. Very cute stuff. Very cute stuff. Do you ever do the stuffing free toys or ones with plastic? I've never done those, Elizabeth. I'd love to try one, though. <laughs> the press conference is on. Fuck directly off. God almighty. I got to get with Scott Skulls and find out what time tomorrow because he's not telling me. But regardless... I'll let you know. I'll put a event up and you guys can all check it out. So if you are not familiar with the Summer Wells case, we're going to be talking about that tomorrow and showing some unseen footage. And we're going to be talking about how Scott Skulls got tailed by a red Toyota Tacoma in Rogersville. So Julie for gone. Julie got gone. Thank you for subscribing. Michelle, it's your birthday tomorrow. We're going to celebrate Michelle's birthday tomorrow. Roberta. There'll probably be another person with a birthday too, so. Oh, either bitches. Neither one. <laughs> okay, you guys. Have a great night and peace not silenced. Thanks for coming in here. And um, happy birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday early. I'm glad that we were able to tell you happy birthday first before anybody else. Thank you for subscribing, Unique Diamond. Okay, I will. I will. I got to go get my food. Okay, I love you guys. I hate saying goodbye. Goodbyes are the hardest. They just dance it out. You're fucking insane, bitch. I'm telling you that. <laughs> I'm telling you that. You sound a little robotic at the end of that, Scott H. You're fucking insane, bitch. I'm telling you that. That sounded really, really weird. Yikes, Ashley. Okay. I think Scott H is a robot. All right, dance it out. Bye, guys. you and your problems i don't give a damn you talk way too much i have heard enough about you and your problems i don't give a damn
It's on the real, but I'm feeling differently. You're making plans to get to France, but don't wanna face the fact that I ain't got time, I ain't got time, I ain't got time for that. Staying up late. 